So hi guys, this is Nikhil here and today we have for you the Sony QX10 which is Sony's slap-on smartphone camera which is pretty cool. So what this has is a 10x optical zoom which is awesome and it has this, the Sony Lens G in this. It also has a point and shoot sensor that is 1 is to 2.3 so basically this is in a sense a Sony point and shoot camera but you can slap it onto your smartphone itself. So let's see how it performs etc but before that I wanted to show you the build quality the build quality of this is quite nice it has a zoom button right here it has a click click button right here shutter button it's on off button up here it's got NFC in it which is cool Sony actually pretty much slaps on NFC in everything nowadays and it has the camera sorry the smartphone attachment for it so you basically place your smartphone here it can go on a 5 inch screen too like that and it, this is quite tight so it's not going to fall off if you slap it on your smartphone and let's open this it's got a um, lock in this over here if I unlock this this is the attachment this is where your battery sits now if you look at the battery this looks like any other Sony point and shoot camera battery in this what this also has which was unexpected is it has a micro SD card support in this so all your photos will come on this itself and it has a tripod mount well thought of so the only way that this thing can connect to your um, smartphone or tablet for that matter is through Wi-Fi it's got Wi-Fi in this so that doesn't mean that the Wi-Fi is that you require a Wi-Fi network. What it does, it's Sony has smartly um, given you a passkey, which is there in the box on your manual. And that passkey has to be entered in the smartphone, which the smartphone's Wi-Fi will connect with this Wi-Fi. And both will talk to each other directly. All right. So that, that's a cool thing in this. Also, you have your micro uh, USB cable, pretty much what your smartphones use to charge directly. And let's start off and see how it performs. So we have uh, luckily another Sony product, a Sony solar phone here. And we have already installed the app in this. So the app that it requires is the Sony Memories mobile app, which you can download for free from Android. Now, before I go ahead, this thing is only compatible with Android phones and iOS phones. Unfortunately, Windows phones are not there as yet. We hope that Sony extends it to them. So let's do one thing. Now, the funny thing in this is that if you want this guy to sync with this, you actually have to have this one on first. Otherwise, the app somehow just refuses to connect. So what I'll need to do first things first is I will need to switch on the Wi-Fi on my uh, Sony Sora. As the Wi-Fi comes on, I shall switch on this one. Its lens will pop out there. This thing is on. The one indication that this does show is it's got a battery indicator right over here, which is nice. And it's also got a micro um, SD card indicator, whether the micro SD card is in it or not. So here what you see is what this camera is seeing. So if I move this, you'll notice it's reflecting here. Let me go widescreen for you. There you go. So we have our toys right there. In, in With this, I can click here to focus. And I've taken a photo. The photos Wi-Fi onto this, as you can see. And voila, the photo is right here. So this obviously shoots any day better than your smartphone cameras, except for the Nokia 1020, which is an awesome camera. It has a better sensor, a larger sensor than this. However, this is a point and shoot sensor, which all your point and shoot cameras use. And it is it's twice the size of this. So in no doubt, it will give you better low light photography and it will be faster at clicking. So the cool thing in this is I can control this entire camera from here except for the movement which I have to move it physically here so here I can control the of course the focus point I can control the zooming the wide and the tele here it's zooming in you can see the zoom is actual optical zoom also um, Sony has included three modes here 
so what Sony calls intelligent auto, super auto, and program mode. Once you hit program mode, you can actually change your white balance and settings here, which sometimes are a little troublesome when clicking. You have your settings here, your white balance here. Self timers, you have, uh, this is an 18 megapixel camera. However, since I've selected 16 by nine mode, it can give you maximum 13 megapixel. Otherwise it can go to 18 max. Review image, you save options. You can even turn off the beep in this because this makes a loud enough beep. So if you want to spy on someone, you can actually turn off the beep and click a photo and they will never know that they've clicked a photo. I would recommend that you generally keep it on superior auto. It does quite a good job, um, especially in low light. Um, we have seen it clicking multiple times to get the shot and, and it gets it pretty right. Here since in the studio we have better lighting, it can click in one shot pretty fast. You also have your movie mode here. There. This thing can shoot at 1080p, so it's shooting at 1080p right now. If I move this, nothing is going to happen. If I want movement, I have to move this around closer. So when shooting a video, I can even use the zoom on the QX10 over here to zoom in and out. You can even use the shutter button on this itself to click your subjects and there. And it will come directly to the camera. Now for whatever reason, it may happen that your Android may crash, which just loves to crash. And or you have exited the apps, such. So basically, it has got disconnected from this. But you can still go on clicking with this camera. So all your images are going to sit in the micro SD card inside this one. Now, if you remove the micro SD card, this will refuse to click. It will give a loud beep, indicating that it's not going to click. So that's it for a quick look at this. Um, this thing costs about 12,900, that is 13,000 MRP by Sony. You should get it a little cheaper, but Sony generally doesn't drop the price down much. This is the QX10 model, which has a 1 is to 2.3 inch sensor. That's your point and shoot sensor. There is another model, which is the QX100, which does not have 10x zoom, though it has a bigger sensor in it. So let's, we'll see if we can get our hands on that. 